Home Run Anderson. Now, tell us how you got your nickname, Home Run, because I was the pitcher that the people hit the most home runs off. Right. Of. Yeah. Guinness. Guinness. And the, that's actually a Guinness record. Uh, Guinness, Guinness is, is back. back. Guinness is back. Guinness is back. Now that you would think that the, the nickname would be something that is positive yeah. about well, you. Well, I I used to come out to a, a song that I wrote myself called "Here Comes Strikeout Henderson." <laughs> mm. Which is also probably a bad song to come out to. Uh, that's when you when were, that was when you were bat. batting. Yeah. You were going up to bat. Right, right. That was your to bat music. <laughs> like Strike out, yeah. Anderson. And without fail, it could be a 3 0 count. I would strike out. I'd swing at every pitch. And then yeah. when you'd come out on the mound, they'd play a song called Here Comes Home Run, Henderson. Yes. And it was just backwards. Which yeah. I, I wrote both of them. I said, I, to, I explicitly told them when to play the songs. But they got them flipped. And they stayed. They, Self fulfilling prophecies. Well, you could say. they kept oh. saying, This is not a mistake. We are trying to humiliate you up there. <laughs> you, you classically <laughs> rewrote Take Me Out to the Ball Game uh, to when you would pitch, please Put leave this ball game. It's <laughs> yeah. going to be bad. Yes. And yeah. then I also heard please another version. Please leave with this. this ball game. Take <laughs> me out to the crowd. <laughs> oh, so you were trying to get yourself fired and make yeah. you part of the crowd. Yes. Well, I've heard you. those peanuts and cracker jacks. Your other version of the song with the same melody of put me back in the bullpen. <laughs> same melody. Yeah, same, same melody. So same melody. This is, uh, this is Melody, uh, Melody, Jer Jeremi yeah. Mel Melody Jeremiah. Mel Melody uh, Jeremiah. Gr same melody. Yeah, same, same melody. melody. As which song? <laughs> what well, you were just singing. Yeah, same melody, same yes. melody, yes. but the video had the same melody. Yes, yes. Melody, melody yes, Jeremiah yes. and Melanie Jeremiah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's right. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, so, uh, yeah, and I'm kind of a hero uh, around here because I pitch to some of the greats that yeah. are in the majors mm -hmm. now. A lot of people say that Sammy Sosa wouldn't have been home run king if he didn't learn how to hit him off of me. Yeah, that's the right. muscle memory was developed. Hitting off of you. Yes. He Some got people say down. that everybody's greatest distance home run happens to be off of you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it doesn't have it. Uh, the people, some people say that because it is a fact. Yeah. If you look that up on MLB.com, longest home run. Uh, That's right. We're burying the lead. You did play in the major leagues. You, play, you played major league baseball yeah. for, for a very short They called me a period. cooler. So if a team was doing <laughs> too well, they'd throw me on the field. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, to just keep it to interesting. Just the fans before, yeah, in, yeah. into the game. Yeah. Mark, right, McGuire cool hit a, down. Mark McGuire hit Mark McGuire, uh, Record setting hit a two thousand foot home run <laughs> off you. Yes, and this was pre steroid days. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. was tiny. Well, when it was a two thousand foot bunt home run. It was the first <laughs> ever. Yeah, he was going for a sacrifice fly. Yeah. He was going for a sacrifice bunt. Yeah, he was aiming down. <laughs> yeah, and I He's too good. I threw that sucker in such a way physically that the only possible hit was a two thousand foot home run. <laughs> right. Hey, uh, I'll say you this. You apparently beat someone and it went out of the park one time, right? <laughs> That's right. It's the first time that the bench cleared to beat the crap out of me. <laughs> My bench yeah, came out right. and beat the crap out of me for that. And you've had the most uh, uh, coach to pitcher talks in the history of the major leagues. <laughs> they come out a couple well, times it's the, it's every the, inning. <laughs> Well, because I, I'm nothing if not very convincing. Yeah, uh, it's uh, true. You know what, Coach? I'm actually feeling it this time. Yeah. Give me one more pitch. Yeah. Give me one I more. I just don't more understand how, the, how, the, how these clubs keep making this mistake. Well, later you were on, traded over 300 times. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you were traded once mid-game. Yeah. <laughs> I got traded to the other team. And back. And back. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and there was a time where you 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 were traded 120 times without ever landing. <laughs> you just stayed in the air. I stayed in the air. The you lived in said, an airport where? for two years, right? Like Tom Hanks in the terminal. Yes, I did a terminal thing because I just kept it. I'd land, I'd land with my family, and immediately I'd walk off the plane. They said, uh, "You're going to Tampa Bay." Yeah. I, I just got to Seattle because they were doing these trades with you, where they weren't saying they were they were saying, uh, "We'll give you uh, our first round draft pick and two uh, auxiliary players." They would yeah. they would do these blind trades yes. and it then they finally find out once they got your down, papers. It uh, went down in 2004 Guinness Book as Guinness, um, Guinness is back um, <laughs> as uh, meanest hoax. 
Yes. Because <laughs> yes. you were forced to play in Tokyo for a while. Well, yes, I still played for the Atlanta Braves, <laughs> but they made me go to Tokyo and and pitch from there, and yeah. I realized I wasn't in the games. Yeah. Uh, you were, you yeah, were Bobby Cox yeah. really pulled that on you. But uh, the one cool thing that happened while I was there is I started getting scouted by the Tokyo Giants, and for a while I was their mascot, Fat Loser. <laughs> <laughs> Because they're trying to make their they're trying to make the game more American over there. Yeah. So yeah. they have a, well, very a American. Lot their, a lot of their mascots are <laughs> funny jokes on American yeah. culture. Yeah. Right. Fat loser, uh, hot dog bread. <laughs> yeah. uh, was that also? <laughs> <laughs> you had that. I had hot dog. Well, While you were fat loser, you had hot dog. Because a lot of people they'll chew they'll chew tobacco, they'll chew sunflower seeds. I chew a ballpark <laughs> frank and I'm in the dugout. <laughs> Boy. And are you eating or are you chewing? No, I'm chewing and I'm spitting it out. Yeah, you tried to start a new uh, snack called Big League Dog, right? Yeah, it was a partnership between me and Big Dogs that they didn't like. Or ask for. Or ask for. Or like or from anyway. not a partnership. That's a, it was a cease and desist between you and Big League. <laughs> Yeah, but so we had funny little movie puns or big dog puns on right. top of hot dogs that you chew like gum. And nice, you were also dude. the mascot for a little while of Tyson Chicken? Yes. Yeah, because, I, well, I they, for a while my nickname was... You were spoiled was, breast? <laughs> for a while my nickname was spoiled breast because I had what doctors called bad pecs. <laughs> <laughs> and, and these are oh, these are male packs filled yeah. with spoiled. <laughs> with spoiled <laughs> <laughs> that's what, that's, that's so what rare. Bad pecs are. Uh, <laughs> so I, oh, man. I pump that stuff and it stinks. It comes out <laughs> chunky. You know, you always think maybe I got a day left on this thing, and it comes out and it's like, no, this is spoiled. 